Hey, what is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping and thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that stop on by and share time with me here on the channel. Now today's video, I'm just going to be giving a little bit of an update on where I've been. Um, if you guys noticed, here in the past couple weeks, um, or maybe even for about the past month, I've kind of been a little distant here on social media. Um, so I just want to give you guys an update on like what's going on, what's going on in life, what's going on in the back end, and uh, just kind of give you a little bit of where my headspace is at right now. We're just gonna be just be hanging out. So uh, guys, stick around, stay tuned, enjoy this video. Let's get it going. If you are newer to the channel um, or you are just hopping on to the channel for the first time, thank you for stopping on by. I appreciate it. My name is Dylan, owner operator of Solo Cuts Landscaping, and this is my YouTube channel. I bring this camera along just kind of documenting, 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 documenting um, what I've been having going on. I was working full time and running the business, and uh, this is our first year completely full-time of uh, April of 2020 I quit my full-time job to take on the business full-time so if you want to see kind of where we started to where we are now there's hundred fifty videos or so for you to check out and um, and see where we started to where we are now you can see that transition happen all the way across the board so anyways how have you guys been drop a comment down below let me know real quick what you guys have been up to how's your holiday season been um, it's just, it's just been a minute. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a little bit. Um, so basically, first week of December or so wrapped up our schedule work. Um, got all our fall cleanups done that we're supposed to. Um, and you know, we are getting everything going here for the snow time. A uh, video two ago, you saw that we got our uh, salt spreader set up. We didn't get it completed. Um, I'm gonna have like a kind of reveal video coming out here soon of the truck of like our insert and all that it's finally completely done but just getting that put on that salt spreader set up and everything um was not the best process when i say not the best process um buyers was on back order for uh multiple things we got a stainless steel option buyers was on back order for multiple things so that was a delay I put my order in for stuff in October and it just got completed last week like my full setup just got completed last week um, but the big issue was was the dealer I went through the dealer I went through is who dropped the ball um, they told me three times all my product was in I had dropped my truck off I, we may have dropped my truck off four times and each time it was first time was they got my product mixed up with someone else's and my product wasn't in yet. They got mine confused with a, um, a poly dump insert deal. Um, second one, I confirmed with them. They said, yep, everything was in. Dropped it off. Only the dump insert was in. Only the dump insert and the salt spreader came in. So they, I said, well, at least just get the dump insert and salt spreader put on. Okay, so we got the dump insert on, salt spreader, but they didn't put the wiring harness on for the dump insert, or the salt spreader. It runs on a different harness than the dump insert. So I had to bring it back up there again. Keep in mind, these are all days, like this started happening in November and finished up in December. Every day that my truck is not on the road is a day that we are not making money, especially when we're going into our first season or winter full time. That's a big deal. That's a big deal right now. So, and, and guys, trust me when I say this, I'm not trying to make excuses on why things get, didn't get done. And I'm not trying to put blame on them for things not getting done or delay getting done because on the back end I could say well maybe I should have put my order in in July you know like prepared even more but I've talked to three reputable large companies here in, in my town and um, all three of them said that they would never go back to this dealer because they had issues with them before so I, I gotta say I think it's the dealer so um, you know, they were buyers was on back order. I get that, but the fact that they told me my stuff was in three separate times, everything was in, and it wasn't. That's where my, that's where I had the issue. The plan was for this winter was I was going to do subcontract work um, as throwing salt. I was going to be throwing salt for a larger company here in the area. Um, I had networked with them. We had basically it was once I was full go on my spreader setup. It was going, then they would deli out sites for me to manage. And unfortunately, because of how long it took 
my dealer to get this product done, my truck ready to roll. We have had two, we had two um, events happen to where at least salt needed to be applied. Because of the time that um, it took to get my spreader set up done, that the company I was going to be doing some sub work for um, had to dele delegate those sites out. So um, I didn't get, I didn't get any sites. The only, I, so it just pisses me, sorry, it just ticks me off because I mean, I, I don't know. Part of me wants to blame myself, part of me doesn't. Um, but that's that's just the way it is, because um, it may just just maybe lack of planning on my end. That's so. Uh, but so I have two sites that I manage. So maybe you know if we really start getting into where we get some heavy load, uh, maybe I can do some sub work for him if he needs help. Um, you know we'll see how that goes. But I will say this: this is why um, creating a winter fund is so important uh, because. We thought we were going to have, you know, our weather is kind of hit or miss here in Ohio anyways, in the part of Ohio we are, but I plan on having a little more work. And this is the reason why setting a winter fund is such an important thing because of instances like this where hiccups come. Fortunately, we are going, we are, we're like, it's not, we're not worried about money. Like we're not going to be strapped for money. Um, now we are going to have to monitor what we spend more because we're not going to have, you know, I'm not gonna be out there, you know, throwing tons of salt, but this is why we set aside a winter fund though. So we know our expenses are covered, we know our bills are covered. Um, so that's not a big, that's not a big worry of ours at all. Like, it really isn't. Now, don't get me wrong, I'd like to be making money too. So we'll see how this winter come, plays out. You never know, uh, some things can come up and we end up doing something, um, but as of right now, um, it looks like our salt work is going to be minimal. And it sucks because for the amount of salting I will be doing, if like say if I just do my two sites, if I knew this was going to be the outcome, I wouldn't have got that salt spreader set up um, just because of how expensive it was to the amount of work we're going to be doing. But hey, you know that's 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 the game. You know that's that's what happens. But nonetheless, though that whole process, because we were having weather come in, I wasn't able to work. It just. Drop my truck off. It, it was just a draining process. As hate, much as I hate saying it and like being in like a negative person, because I'm not. You guys have been following along, you know I'm not a negative person at all. But it was just draining because it was oh, it was a week to week thing. Be there, nope. I like I'd be like, oh, finally, it's all gonna be done. Then it wouldn't be. Finally, it's all gonna be. It's just it was just a draining process. And then. So now we get past, now we're past the whole dump insert deal. All right, so we're gonna transition this to the truck. Um, I forgot my wallet this morning and I need lunch. So hop in the truck, um, we'll chit chat here in the truck. Let's go there. Hey, real quick, uh, before we get too far into this video, I wanna know down in the comments below, um, what type of content are you guys wanting to see this winter? Um, of course, when we get snow events, um, we're gonna be br doing some video with that, showing you guys our spreader setup, how it's working, all that jazz. But, like, more than that, are you wanting to see, like, you know, do you wanna see some behind the scenes, like day in the life stuff, like what I have going on at home, what we do for fun? Um, some family stuff, whatever. Do you guys want to see stuff like that? Do you want it to be strictly business, lawn care stuff? Um, I can definitely show you guys some content on, you know, what we have going on the back end, whatever. Just let me know down in the comments below what type of content you guys are going to be looking for uh, this winter when you have a little more time to, you know, fool around on the phone and watch some YouTube. Um, what type of content would you like to see? Do me a favor, drop a comment down below. All right, so now I want to talk kind of about uh, where my headspace has been um, here lately just because it's like I said this is our first winter I may have made a video about this um, last year the year prior talking about how say when I was working full-time and running the business you know I was waking up between 3 30 4 in the morning for work I'd get off between 12 and 2 and then after that I would hit the pavement running on uh, the business so when winter time came and all I had was my like 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. type schedule and then nothing to do afterwards it would completely rock my mind it would just really really mess my head 
because I'm so used to being on the go, on the go, on the go, having all this work to do, and you know, that's just not the case. That's not what's happening. And like I was used to having all this work to do and wintertime would come and I would just have my full-time job and that is it. So think about now, the only work that we have, I would, like actual like billable work to do is when an event comes for snow. That is the only time. So like right now it's just a mental struggle. I don't know if it's just the winter blues just setting in which scares me because we're just now getting into winter and you know I'm already kind of feeling I'm already feeling weird like just no lack of motivation because I don't have that X Y and Z to get up and get going I don't have that not to have a full schedule where I'm go 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 it is hard to slow down and then when I when it so when it does come time to where it does slow down, I just fall into this hard slump and it is, I don't, it's hard to get out of, it's hard to deal with. It's just been a mental struggle, I guess you'd say, for the past month. So another thing that happened is that, I, can, I can't believe I forgot about this. Uh, my wife, which is a state prison, she's a nurse there. And if anyone that knows anything about the, you know what, Dilemma. I don't want to say it on the channel because I don't know if YouTube's listening. But that stuff that has flu-like symptoms, if you know what I'm saying, it's a hot box essentially at those state facilities because no one can go anywhere. So if someone does get it, it's just like, pew. well, what ended up happening is weekly tests and Jordan ended up testing positive. Um, so we had to quarantine and then I ended up catching it. I didn't have taste, I didn't have smell, had headaches. That was about it. So I had to quarantine. I couldn't do anything. So talk about being down in the dumps is when like you're struggling with the fact of like you don't really have much to do right now. It's a slow time of season. Then you throw in where you have to be quarantined for 14 days or 10 days. I think it was 14, yeah. Then you have to be quarantined for 14 days. Now I'm trying to overcome it. I'm, I make this video here. I recorded a video earlier. Um, I'm just hoping that like, because I didn't have motivation to even like get on, like my Instagram has been stagnant. My YouTube has been stagnant because I just don't have that drive to get out and do anything. And then honestly, I'm not one of those people that's going to post a video. Like my, my channel is about, you know, lawn care and like what we have going on related to lawn care in my life and business. But I'm not the kind of guy that's going to post videos just to post content. Like, like, I'm, like, if I'm going to post something, it's going to be about business. It's going to be about, you know, ha how business is going for us, what we have going on. It's going to be, like, there's going to be relation there. I'm hoping, post this video, record another one, start getting that cr those creative juices flowing, and hope that gets snaps me out of this stage and phase I'm in. And I know what I know what everyone's saying. Oh, but you can be working on a lot of stuff in the back end. I get that. I 100% get that. But we all know, just like you and everyone else, I understand this back end work that's got to be done. And I am do like I have been, you know, like hitting some stuff, taking a break, hitting some stuff, taking a break. No one likes to do that junk. That, like, you can't tell me, like, that is not something that's gonna be like, oh, this is gonna get me motivated. I'm gonna sit on here on this computer and I'm going to, whatever, t go through yard book and whatever. Like, that's not what I'm, it's not gonna get me motivated. Okay, right now I need something that's gonna jumpstart my motivation, get me cracking, get me rolling, to then be like, hey, you know what? You've been doing, having a progressive week today, hang out the house. Let's get some X, Y, and Z done. Let's update the website today. But I, I, like I said, I just need something to get me out of this. Like I said, this video is just all about giving you guys an update and kind of where my mental state has been. And it has just been at a low. Um, so I'm just trying to kick out of that, you know, give a swift kick in the rear end and get myself out of that. But like I've talked to Britt Dowd, um, you know, my wife Jordan, we've talked about just, it is different because it is a slow period. And you know, like I go 100 mile an hour 
nine months of the year, literally nine months of the year, I'm waking up early, getting home late, nine months of the year, and like just being okay with slow time. Not okay in a fact of like, oh, it's slow, so I don't really care about making money or whatever. Not like that. I'm just talking like, I crack it hard nine months of the year in a sense to be able to have this free time because I don't have free time when it, when season's in. So just be able to have some slow time, hang out with the family, hang out with the freaking kiddos. Like, past couple weeks, I've been playing more Hot Wheels, putting together tracks, hanging out with little man and Annie, just, and it, that's been great. That has been the best part of it, is being home more with the wife, with the kiddos. Um, I feel like, you know, Jordan and I have been able to like communicate a lot more, talk, just relax, hang out, enjoy each other's company. And like with the kiddos, it's been nice. Playing with them, hanging out. So on that end, it's been nice. Um, on the family aspect of being able to be home with them, see them more, hang out with them more, enjoy that time. Because we all know spring rush hits and it's back on that grind and it's gonna be chaos again. So I guess just enjoying the time while it's like this as I can, look at the positives and uh, you know, just continue to push through it. That's about all I can do. I just pulled up to the house. I gotta get the wallet. I'm gonna get some lunch. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in this video. I hope, um, I hope I haven't lost you guys. I hope you've watched this video all the way through. Um, we have work to do here in this, like I have work to do at the shop to get ready um, for the season next year. And there's also some things that like, I need your guys' input on. I need your guys' help on. Um, because it's in regards to, you know, like our mowing trailer. Uh, that thing needs a lot of work. I'm just, so I'm trying to determine if the work we need to put into it is gonna be worth it for what the trailer value is worth or if it's best just to get what needs fixed, to sell it, to then maybe get something new um, and improved, I guess you'd say. So stick around. I, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. Um, just kind of dealing with a little bit of uh, winter blues, I would say. Um, but we do have content coming out down the pike for you. I am really going to be trying to, to get some videos to you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments below. If you made it this far, just know I super appreciate it. Including your comment down below. Let me know that you watch this thing to the end. Because I'm telling you what, if you watch this video all the way to the end, just know I super appreciate that. I super appreciate it. Um, but you know, drop a comment down below. Like I said, let me know what type of content you guys want to be seeing here this winter. Let me know, like, do you deal with some issues like this? Do you deal with this when it comes to the slow time? Um, if you do, what are some things that you do to keep yourself motivated, to keep yourself going? Because I know I'm probably not the only one that goes through this, and I'm sure others would love some advice as well. So guys, drop a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that bell, so we get a notification every time I drop a video. Guys, as always, remember, do what you love, love what you do, but never, never stop. Stop, guys. We will see you in the next one. Bye.